This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I display the polyframes across all subtools? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about the polyframe functionality inside of ZBrush. So if I have Earthquake's body here selected, and then I come over to the side, and I just toggle on this Draw Polyframe button here, you're going to see that the subtool I have selected is going to now display Earthquake with its polyframes. So I'm getting the wireframe of the model, and I'm also getting the color of any polygroups that are associated on that mesh. So the question is asking how I can go by seeing all the polyframes across all the subtools, and not just the only one I have selected. So in order to display all the polyframes across all the subtools in your tool, you just need to do a render while this polyframe button is turned on. So to do this, just make sure you have the polyframe button toggled on, and then just simply come up and do a BPR render. Now, if this polyframe option is active when you do this render, it's now going to go through and render each of the subtools with polyframes. So now you can see I get a result of Earthquake here with all his subtools showing polyframe. So you just need to toggle this on and then click render, and then that will render all the subtools in that polyframe mode. Now there are also are some different options you can use with the polyframes, and those are correlating to these little buttons on the top of the polyframe button here that's labeled line and fill. Now if I turn off the line button by just simply clicking on the text, and I'll turn that off, you're gonna see that the polyframe option is only going to display the polygroups. So I'm just getting the color information and the polygroup breakup on that subtool, and I'm not getting the wireframe. So if you just want to see what the polygrouping on your model looks like, you just come over here and disable this line function. And then if you want to see that across all your subtools, you can just do another BPR render here. And now you're going to see Earthquake with his model rendered with just the polygroup breakup. Now in addition to this line function, there's also a fill button too. And this fill button, if we turn this off, is going to disable that polygroup and the polygroup breakup, and you're just going to get the line option if you just have line turned on. So now I'm just getting this wireframe look for the model. And if I want to again display that across all my subtools, I just need to do a render. And now I have Earthquake here being displayed in a wireframe type format. So the options here of line and fill can be toggled on and off to display how those polyframes will be viewed on the mesh. And then once again, just to get the polyframes to display across everything, just simply do a render while you have the polyframe button active. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.